Sean, tell me about this day, what it means and you know, why is it so important? What is it hoping to achieve? So it started in the late eighties as a way of sort of trying to combat homophobia and transphobia, recognizing at the time that uh, if someone knew someone who was LGBT plus, there's a better, like knowing someone leads to a better chance that you're not going to then promote more uh, hatred or oppression. So it, it was uh, one of the political philosophies at the time that by coming out to people that you knew would help to combat uh, the, the hate that was in the community. And so it, it became a thing. And so the challenge for some people though is a lot of people aren't necessarily ready to come out on this day. So I always sort of uh, buffer that with uh, people need to come out when they themselves are ready to come out. Tell me what role does Muskoka Pride play in, in something like today? Uh, probably one of the biggest roles Muskoka Pride does is provide opportunities for visibility in the community and providing those networking opportunities for those who uh, want to uh, learn more about the LGBTQ plus community in the area. Well, Sean, I, I've heard that, you know, forcing someone to face their own sexuality is, is not a good idea. Tell me why that is. Um, it, it really is a personal uh, personal journey. I know I myself did not come out until my late 20s and it took me over a decade of sort of trying to come to grips with my own understanding of myself and for each person it is a very unique journey. Uh, as an elementary teacher I can tell you that a lot more uh, young, young, young children are coming out at an earlier age because these conversations are happening more and more in our community and in our society but there really is no age where it happens and people really do need to have that ability to come out on their own terms at their own time when they themselves are ready. And what a lot of people don't realize is the most important person to come out to first and foremost is yourself. Tell me, I've heard this terminology of being a safe person to come out to. What does that mean exactly? Uh, being a safe person to come out to is all about someone who uses inclusive terminology, someone who takes the time in, uh, to, um, if they if they hear someone being homophobic or transphobic, to stop the conversation right there and address it. Say, say no, that's not acceptable. That's that's homophobic. We need to use hear the words we need to use. So someone actually sets that tone for themselves to be a safe person. Uh, based on their actions most of the time because those individuals who may identify as LGBTQ+, uh, they're always watching and they pick up on who is and is not a safe person to come out to. And it, it's very much uh, someone's tone or uh, the way some, you handle yourself in your daily life. So in a scenario, you know, if somebody is, is faced with a, a scenario that someone has selected them as a safe person to come out to, what, what should that person do in that situation? The person that, that is, you know, being come out to, I guess. Well, so if it's if someone in your family, um, someone who comes out really wants to hear two things. They want to hear you love them and it doesn't change anything. That's really what they want to hear. Uh, if it's if it's not necessarily someone in your family, you want to, they, again, they want to hear that validation that, you know, I still like you and respect you as a, as a friend or as a colleague or as a student, depending on the relationship. And it doesn't change anything. And that, especially if it's a situation like myself as a teacher and student coming out, I respect your privacy to, to come out on your terms. Sean, for anybody of any age that, you know, wants to maybe reach out to Muskoka Pride and, and discuss this, discuss their options that they have of, of doing this, how do they do that? Uh, how do they get a hold of you? So people could always approach us on social media at Muskoka Pride. They could email Muskoka Pride at Gmail. Uh, we also have MuskokaPride.com where we have our things. We host uh, events throughout the throughout the year, and this coming Friday is actually our, our monthly youth group. So that'd be an opportunity for anyone who is sort of un under the age of twenty or so who would like to who like to take part and have just some conversations. They could reach out to us too that way. Sean, thank you very much for taking the time to talk about this today. I know it's a sensitive topic, but one that we really should be talking about more. So I do appreciate you taking the time for that. It's greatly appreciated. Thanks so much. 